Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, the topic that I'm going to be talking about today is how to get what you want using your goddess energy. I know this is a very juicy topic and so I want you to receive this well and I hope that this information can help you in your life. That is my intention for today. So let's get started. So first let's talk about what is goddess energy maybe you've heard this word a thousand times but i want to break down my understanding of goddess energy goddess energy is the energy of the divine of god reincarnated in the feminine so it is the energy the feminine energy in existence that is running through you so a goddess is a being that understands that God and God energy is flowing through her. She is one that trusts God, that trusts the divine, that allows this energy to flow through her and rules her life, her family, her business from this place of deep trust, of deep knowing. A goddess is calm and fluid energy. A goddess is someone that is centered deep in their faith and deep in themselves and knowledge of themselves. So they, that outside influences and whatever chaos is going outside doesn't affect her in her inner world because her inner world is flourishing. So when you're in the presence of a goddess, you're in the presence of a being that is representing the feminine essence of God through her. So that's why goddess energy is so magnetic and so powerful. So from this place of goddess energy, how then do we get to what we want? The first step that I highly recommend is that getting crystal clear on what it is that you want because we've been deeply conditioned as you know i talk about this all the time we've been deeply conditioned in our life to down to even our desires some of our desires and some of the things that we want is not actually coming from an authentic place within us it's what we think we should want so the first step is to get crystal clear what is it that i deeply deeply desire what is it that i want and so knowing that let's say what you want is love you want to call in your king you want a provider you want all the things understand that once god places that desire in your heart is done it's done you have it now what your job is is to remove all of the blocks remove all of the obstacles that come in between you and that love you and that goal you and that person you and whatever it is that you want your job is to remove those blocks that's the next step because once god places that desire in your heart it's because god wants you to have it but you have to become the reciprocal of that desire. So if you want love, understand that if you want a king, if you want, um, if that's what you're calling in, you're calling in love, it's done. Now figure out why isn't this showing up in my physical existence? What is it that's running in my body, in my subconscious, that is preventing this king from coming and so it takes deep deep inner work to understand your subconscious because your subconscious is 95 percent of your brain your subconscious honestly is what's running the show so the most important thing is to understand those inner thoughts that are running the program of your life what you see around you is the result of what you believe you deserve. That's just the honest truth. So 
So if you want to change your surroundings, if you want to call in the love, you have to go deep into your subconscious to figure out, well, what are my ideas about love? What is my what is really, really deep inside? What do I think about men and love? And you might discover, hey, I have this inner thought that I didn't even acknowledge that I think that love is hard or I think that men will take my money or I think like you might have a subconscious thought that is actually preventing you from having love, okay? I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper with you because I, I, I'm doing you a disservice by just giving you the adornment, the outside. Okay, so for example, people work with crystals. I work with crystals. I love crystals, right? So this waist bead, for example, right? This is a beautiful waist bead. It's handmade and it's made out of rose quartz. And so I will tell you, yes, rose quartz, um, it has the vibration of love. It calls love onto you. You can put weights, these waist beads on. You could put a thousand pieces of rose quartz in your ears on your hair in your head in your bra underneath your pillow you can do all of those things and still not call love in i'm telling you the truth why because you're not aligned to love there's something going on within your subconscious that is subconsciously pushing it away what crystals do is they they align and they harmonize with the with the energy that already exists inside of you but if there is a counter uh, subconscious thought that's countering it your free will is always going to override the crystals free will let's talk about that free will there's nothing that the universe is designed for us to always honor the free will that's why i tell people you cannot do witchcraft or any type of brujeria to anyone for them to really love you. They might be with you for a little bit of time. I don't know why you'd want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you anyway, but that's a whole other topic. But it might work for a little while, but eventually that stuff is going to fade away. Eventually the little tips and tricks is going to fade away. You want to be with someone that is their free will, it's their desire, it's their 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 whole heart wants to be with you. Don't be with anyone that doesn't choose you. But like authentically in their free will, they are in their conscious mind want to be with you. That's the person for you. Not anyone that you had to pour honey and do different things. That's not your person. Why would you want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you? And you can, you know, put crystals all over. But if your subconscious is, t is saying that men are bad, I don't have time for men or whatever the programming is, you're still not going to call the love in. It's deeper than just an adornment. It's deeper than anything you could just put on the outside of your body. You have to look at your subconscious mind. You have to look at this inner script that's going on inside your head. And that is the key to knowing why everything that I'm attracting in my life is coming. It's deeper. And I want to go deeper with you because that that's really what's going to bring about the major transformation. You can always, I love adornment. I love adornment. It does change your vibration. It does. But ultimately, you have to align with it. You have to look at what is going on within me for example if you want a million dollars there's a reason why it's not in your life yet you might think oh but i really really want it yes but there's something going on in your mind that's saying that's pushing it away and that's why it's not in your life because if you really wanted it and you were aligned for it it would already be there so you might have been told when you're little, rich people are bad. You might have been told uh, or some subconsciously been programmed to think that if I have a lot of money, I won't have time for my kids. It might be something you never know, but you have to do that deep inner work. 
So the point is to get crystal clear on your desires. Then remove the blocks. So that's the inner work of knowing all the things that are blocking you from having it. And then we have to go into our feminine energy, the goddess energy of the art of receiving. And for a lot of us, this can be really, really challenging. The art of receiving. Learning to receive is an art for us modern women. Why? Because we are so deeply, deeply in our masculine. We can push things away because we are don't know how to receive. And so there's a whole energetic embodiment for that. And it's very important because if we just go into work, work, work mode, then we don't, if we don't take the time to receive, we're never going to feel the joy and the fruits of our labor and the fruits of all of the seeds that we planted. Like at the end of a yoga class, how you do Shavasana, that's because you're actually receiving and allowing those those vital energies of all of your practice to integrate into your body. If you don't take that time, then you just rush, rush, rush. You're not even going to get the full benefit of your practice. That's why at the end, you take the time to receive, to integrate that up-leveling that you did from your from your practice which is very important it's a very important part of your yoga practice and if you read like the ancient texts they say the shavasana is the most important part the art of receiving the art of knowing that i work so so hard for this relationship and then am i going to sabotage it do i believe i deserve this do i believe i have the ability and i am the woman have i become the woman to receive this great blessing that i have worked so hard for receive it comes in alignment with our with our self-worth with knowing we are worthy of the of all of the blessings that would come our way if you look at like people that win the lottery oftentimes within two or three years they blow all the money because they haven't been able to expand what they believe they deserve and they go back into that mindset. I've seen women ruin marriages because they were finally with a guy that was really, really good, but they didn't believe they deserved it. And so they sabotaged it. It was all subconscious. It's not like they went out to, you know, they planned it, but they subconsciously did not believe that they deserved a good man and sabotage their whole marriage. I've seen it because that worthiness component is huge in a feminine collective. So doing the work, honoring your inner light, honoring and, f and fueling yourself, filling yourself up, all of these practices are so deeply, deeply needed for us to get to what we want because God plants these desires in our heart for us to have them, not for us to just be wanting, 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 please. No, you're supposed to have them. That's why it's planted in your heart. So do the things that you need to do on the inside, not just on the outside. Although, you know, I love the adornment, but it's, it takes a deeper, I'm going deeper. And I hope and I and I want you to go deeper with me too. That's why I'm doing a free masterclass called From Burnout to Bliss. And I go into the art of receiving and lots of feminine principles and feminine art for you to practically apply to your life. And it will be beautiful and it will be life-changing and deeply, deeply nourishing. So I hope that you love this video and you are able to take some tidbits and apply it to your life. And we go deeper from burnout to bliss in my free masterclass. So sign up. The link is in my bio. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace and love.
let me know what you think i love your comments i love when people comment and you um just share with me one takeaway that gives me energy to create more of, of this work for you more of this play for you so i'll catch you in the next video peace and love